Provincetown, Massachusetts, on the way to interview Costa Manos for Burn Magazine. What do you find to be the strongest point in your photography? So is it the lighting? Is it the way you position the camera? I know with David, he is very strong with creating layers yeah. in a photograph. How do you feel about your well, own? Well, I, I belong to that layer school myself also. You know, I yeah, my, really. my, my great inspiration when I was starting out was Henri Cartier-Bresson. And that's where I learned two things about the moment and also about not cropping, right. full frame. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I, think, I think a photographer who is serious has to realize that before he can really present himself as a professional, he has to have a body of work, that means a set of pictures, I would say a minimum 40 prints, which is enough to do a book with or do an exhibition that has, can be respected. And, and he has to realize that he can't get an assignment, don't even think about getting an assignment, until you have this kind of body of work that you can show people. And then hopefully they will hire you because you can do something that no one else can do. I, th I think, you know, it's, it's very demanding. I think a successful photograph is a surprise something you've never seen before, will never see again. If, if you find, if you have two or three pictures that you really like, that are special, then you have to just follow that path and until you get to 40 or 35, 30, 40, uh, and you have a box of prints that you can show people, you know. And that's, that's, you know, everybody has to find their own way of surviving. But the important thing is every time you, you take a picture, you, you're going in the same direct direction, you're focused, you're using the same, you were looking at for the same style, the same feeling, the same moment, uh, you know, whatever you, whatever you like. And if you find photographers you like, and there are a lot of them on Magnum, on the website, uh, then, then, then you'd maybe try to t do a workshop with, with a photographer like that, that you like. A lot of the great photographers don't do workshops, so unfortunately. Everybody has the capability of or the possibility to take good pictures. Now that doesn't mean that they're great pictures. Okay, that means that they're the quality is perhaps professional and so forth. But now there is more competition, but there's also more mediocrity. I believe that good anything, good poetry, good photography, good writing, good music, composition, you have to think about what you want to do, what subject matter you want to treat, how you want to approach it, what you want your pictures to look like, and based on that you will select a camera, you will select, in the old days you would select a film, you would select, and, and I think that making prints is an important part of the process. I don't believe a photograph exists until it is a print. It is, it is an artifact. It is something you can hold in your hand. It's, it's an object. And, and if a print is properly made, it will last 200 years easily, you know. These are darkroom prints, and they're quite precious because they're, they're one of a kind. They'll never be made again, you know. I certainly won't make them. And what's your uh, favorite paper to use in the darkroom? Well, it was, it was AGFA. Okay. Uh, it was, there was an AGFA paper, and so this is... This is from my Greek set. The, most of these prints, I have more vintage prints from the Greek pictures that were shot uh, in 1962, 63. Then when I came back, I started making, you know, black and white prints on them. So, so these are, you know, beautiful vintage, vintage prints. Uh, and I, I miss the dark room, but I'm, I'm, I have a lot of fun with the computer making inkjet prints. For any photographer who is aspiring photographer, I think it would be a good exercise. You don't have to make big prints, but to have a small setup and make 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 your own prints, know how to make your prints, know what's important, know the craft of it, so that even if you go to a lab, you'll know what you're talking about. If there's one thing you would tell an emerging photographer who wants to apply to Magnum, right? What would it be? Well, first of all, I would go into the Magnum website and I would look at all the photographers work over the years and I think there is a sort of a Magnum style and Magnum is about humanistic photography, it's about people, it's about 
condition of people, it's about moments, it's about poetry. So, so you really have to do a lot of thinking. You have to find a subject that you care about, that interests you, like an idea. It's more of an idea. You know, I think a, a good photograph is an idea. It's, it's a realization. And then you have all these ideas stacked up in a box, and then you really have something. It's not easy. You know, it, it's, it's, it's very difficult. You have to, don't, th don't think just because you can push the button and take a picture that, that you can be great. You really have to work hard and, and be patient and survive, you know, until it's, it's different now because there are less assignments. It's, mu it's much more difficult. You have to find a way to, you know, do your work and survive and, and build up a body of work, you know. Um, so that's my advice. That's my advice. Well, thank okay. you. Okay, sure, thank sure. Thank you so much. Okay, good, good. <laughs>